greeting some folks along that I-95 corridor this morning. But that rain, and yes, it will be quite widespread as we head into Monday. So that severe threat, while we do carry that Sunday, it's going to be more of the heavy rain threat, especially through Nashville into Asheville as we head into Monday. And that rain might extend as far south as the Gulf Coast. So we need to watch that. Monday evening, the rain, the front pushes a little farther to the east. So areas where we've seen those temperatures quite warm from Tallahassee to Augusta up into Charleston will be a little cooler in Charleston, but it's going to be all rain with this storm system. And eventually by Tuesday, we'll probably see that rain reach the eastern seaboard through the Carolinas into portions of Florida as far north as the outer banks of North Carolina. Wilmington on Tuesday, a pretty dreary day, but still on the milder side with temperatures in the low to mid 70s. And as far as the rain is concerned, some of the same areas that has already seen the rain, especially the past couple of weeks, we'll see even more of it. Look at this from Dallas to Jonesboro up to Louisville and Cincinnati with that warmer air, just more moisture available with warmer temperatures. Warmer air can hold more moisture, two to three inches. Some spots not out of the realm of possibility where we could see upwards of three, maybe four inches before it's all said and done. And then we'll see that rain, yes, eventually spread into the northeast. Interior portions, it'll be more so of a snow, possibly rain mix there in Syracuse. Watertown, 24 degrees. But this is by Monday evening from Hagerstown up into New York. Portland might be a bit of a wintry mix, but even Tuesday, still some lingering showers. So this storm system, which will develop, is going to have an effect in the Northeast. This will be as we head into next week, though. Not so much with that quick moving clipper system, which we've seen and still seeing some of the effects of this morning. How much snow Sunday through Tuesday? Well, we could have some accumulations, not putting numbers on it quite yet, but we could see those accumulations, especially in the higher elevations. Meanwhile, it's going to be all rain from Cincinnati into Pittsburgh and also along that I-95 corridor. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.